Hello everyone and welcome to Law School Tanzania. Today's topic is going to be about international laws and how they apply within the Tanzanian legal system. My name is Moza Chiera and uh, before we continue further, I would like to ask you to comment, like and subscribe these videos for further videos that come within the near future. Thank you very much. So, for starters, what is international law? These are laws that govern relations among states. Now, there are different groups of international laws, ranging from private international law to public international law. But our, our major topic today will not be on the different groups that govern the international laws. Today we are going to talk about how international laws apply with states such as Tanzania. Now, there are different sources of international law. One is treaties, uh, secondly are uh, customs, thirdly are uh, the writings from different jurists such as Malcolm Shaw and many other, and the decisions from different courts, but also the other general principles of law that are applied within states. Our major discussion today is on how international laws apply within states such as Tanzania. Now, before we continue further, there are two different theories that we have to know that go about together within the concept of how international laws apply within the state. The two common theories are monism and dualism. In monism, international laws are given the same status as the municipal or domestic laws. While in dualism, uh, the theory donates that international laws do not automatically acquire the status of being uh, the same as domestic laws. They have to go a certain process of which makes them to be incorporated within such a state. There are different states that follow different theories. Monistic states include United States of America and dualistic state is Tanzania itself. In Tanzania, the constitution under Article 63, uh, Sub-Article 3, Paragraph E, gives the power and the mandate of the Parliament of Tanzania to ratify all treaties and agreements to which the United Republic is a party to such agreements. The most important thing here to note is the term ratify treaties and agreements. Ratifying means in other concept domesticating. As a state what it does it, it takes the laws from, from uh, it takes the treaties that are agreed and they are later on domesticated into the laws that are to be used with the treaties that were ratified. A good manifestation of this is provided in Article 9, Paragraph F, where Tanzania has ratified some of the principles of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Now, that is one of the examples that shows that the Tanzanian laws governing it, the Tanzanian principles in incorporation of uh, international laws requires it to be ratified and to be kept within the domesticated environment. Another process of domestication happens when uh, some parts of the convention that was signed or treaty that was signed are kept within the existing law. A good example is the convention of the rights of a child some of the principles have been incorporated as they are within the Law of the Child Act in Tanzania. This position of such dualistic environment is similar to some of the Commonwealth countries and uh, the United Kingdom. An example of the Commonwealth countries that apply is, okay, let's say Tanzania, but also there is Uganda and many other states that follow this kind of doctrine. Thank you very much. So that's all from Law School Tanzania on issues of international laws governing the Tanzanian legal system. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video to your friends so as you can grow the law school class. For my fellows from Law School Tanzania and an Air Studio, this is Moza Tierra, and have a nice time. Thank you.